On the heels of several shark sightings and attacks, many surfers who have survived shark bites are now finding their way back into the water. Kelly TV 4 Shanila Kabir spoke to shark attack survivors and has more on the psychology of getting back onto their boards. Here at Kaiser's Bowl and at other beaches along Waikiki, officials have put up shark warning signs. Surfers who've survived shark attacks say on top of the physical pain they've endured from losing an arm or a leg, there's mental trauma they need to overcome. I just, I was awake all the way through. I had a calm head. I remembered everything. Um, they brought me on the beach. They said um, they wanted to put me on the sand. I'm like, no, no, grab my surfboard so I, just, I could sit on my surfboard. People really wanted to help. Um, people on the beach was kind of Recent shark attack victim Kevin Kanehe from Kauai says this incident will not stop him from surfing. He says he will be back in the water after he recovers physically and emotionally. Surfers understand their sport comes with some risk of shark attacks. Well, this is their home, so I, I think every surfer thinks about it. Maybe at least once every, every time we do a session of surfing, and uh, I sure think about it. So, yeah, there's a little bit of fear there. But, but I mean, surfing over trumps it. According to the Department of Land and Natural Resources, shark attacks are still very rare in Hawaii with three to four on average in one year. Maui leads Hawaii with the most shark attacks, followed by Oahu. It's unknown exactly why sharks sometimes attack humans. Many believe it's because sharks mistake surfers for natural prey, like turtles and seals. Shanila Kabir, KITV4 Island News.